Hi, I'm Monica Porter Young, President and CEO of MP Global Connect. MP Global Connect is the exclusive distributor and exporter of Srina. Srina is our brand of organic teas, spices, and holistic health. Some people call us a tea company, but we're more than tea. We go beyond the cup to teach you holistic health and lifestyle. You are watching SGTV, socially good television. I started this company nearly two decades ago with 12 women farmers. We, we've built a school, a home, a factory in the middle of the forest. Um, Sri Lanka is the tip of India, for those of you who don't know. And I often get asked, mm, black girl, Sri Lanka tea, connect the dots, tell me this. Um, when I walked in this morning, the guy said, I was expecting someone like uh, East Asian, Indian. And certainly, I believe I could possibly be the only African American woman in Sri Lanka. I'm an actress. My background was theater and econ. Uh, I went to Wright State and I had a one-woman show based on an encounter I had with a, a, a heroin addict in uh, New York. So um, I took that one-woman show, worked with the United Nations and went to Southeast Asia um, to speak on the commonalities of women. We are more alike than different, no matter where you go. Um, at the time, I didn't know tea, but long story short, um, I met my partner who saw something in me and when I met the women in Sri Lanka it was really an incredible experience because these were uh, women of color. We had no money, the women had very little, but we had tea. Tea was a natural resource and I would spoken to my partner very naively and said listen let's harvest this tea, I'll take it to the United States, make a ton of money, come back and everybody's gonna be successful. Well that was nearly two decades ago. So I took years off to learn the country, learn the culture, um, learn my own stuff, learn import, export, meet the president, and really do my homework. Um, long story short, we now have, um, we've been able to provide sustainable economic development. And uh, right now, we have a complete, not only uh, organic tea factory, spices, we also do ecotourism. So we have about, we can take up to 20 guests and we call it a health resort because in the forest is our pharmacy. And this has been wonderful for us because um, when I first went to Sri Lanka, farmers would say, oh, Maniki, you must drink sour sap for your cancer. And I would say, oh my God, do I have it? Can you look, do you see something on me? And their philosophy was very impactful because they believe we are all born with it. But at some point, my immune system or whatever you do in life, your cancer will come, so you must prevent it. So their entire philosophy is on prevention and it's on holistic health. Oh yes, your thyroid must need this now that you are 30. When I have a baby, oh now that you have a baby, you must have this. And everything is prevention for them to be able to keep the machine working. So for two decades, I have been on the ground learning, researching, uh, Popala for kidneys, bitter gourd for diabetes, um, carapincha for blood pressure. Uh, we take bananas and my farmers squeeze a banana into their green tea because banana is very good for blood flow and blood flow in the heart needs to stay open. So it wasn't very complicated. It was really, really simple. Um, today, we have people from all over the world come to our farm. We are in Sri Lanka. We are not only in tea, we also have um, a coconut factory where we are making organic coconut banana chips, cinnamon, spices, and our goal is to not just teach tea, but tea as a way of health. The first tea that we have, which is mixed green salad, um, what's exciting here is um, Shrana green tea with cinnamon. Um, cinnamon, of course, is really good for blood sugar and um, the purely green tea. You'll see, um, everyone knows a green tea. Green tea is good for you. You just hear green tea, green tea, green tea. I have a relative who's like green tea gum, green tea ice cream, whatever. Um, to the long story of tea, what makes tea good for you? Um, green tea particularly is high in antioxidant. And what an antioxidant, we know that we have all these free radicals going through our body. You, there's nothing we can do about it. 
about it from the air, from what we inherit. The free radicals are going through our body and fighting off those cells, right? So our body has to work extra hard and sometimes our cells get damaged in that fight. So what green tea does, particularly high quality green tea, the green tea that you're drinking today is certified 11.7 EGCG. That means that in order for green tea to really fight cancer, it needs to be um, at least 9.7 EGCG. Ours is certified 11.7. So if you're drinking green tea out there that has pesticides, chemicals, your, the chances of you actually really getting the nutrients may not be as high. So um, we want you to drink a high quality green tea. And what happened is that green tea, the reason they have a lower rate of cancer in South, Southeast Asian countries is because they drink tea all day. They drink tea in the morning, they drink tea in the evening. It's not a, oh, I'm sick green tea. It is a part of their daily life. And what green tea does is it promotes healthy cells. So it's going in there fighting on your behalf. You, you know, I'm drinking green tea and it's going in there promoting healthy cells. So every day it's going to battle with the, that cancer. But if you have non-organic, you got to fight the pesticides, the chemical and all the stuff. So by the time you get to the tea, it probably is not happening. Lemon verbena is a wonderful herb. It's wonderful for anti-anxiety. Um, I usually take it if I don't want the caffeine, I just have lemon verbena, turmeric and ginger. It's anti-anxiety because it works to calm the central nervous system. When you have, a, you know, if you ever feel yourself just kind of like overwhelmed and stressed and just your central nervous system is out of whack, lemon verbena, ginger, because when we are nervous and our central nervous system is out of whack, it's your stomach. And then all of a sudden you start getting pain in your stomach. And this is just sort of like our complimentary tea. And you can get this anti-anxiety, anti-inflammatory tea, which is one of my go-to. It's really important that you learn tea. If nothing else, I want you to walk away knowing the leaf. Uh, tea is a vegetable, it's a plant, right? Just like collard greens, just like anything that we eat. Um, tea is life for us and my farmers. We don't drink it every now and then. As a matter of fact, I said to chef, after a good meal, I always hate that they just bring you anything for tea. Tea is so important. He, of course, loves tea, so he agreed with me 100%, which is why we came here today. But I said, people, I don't think, even as Americans, tea is everywhere, but I don't think we've quite realized how important tea can be to a holistic and healthy lifestyle. Um, tea is a plant, and that green leaf only needs water. So I'm going to show you when you brew, you will leave here with green tea, pure, clean, high antioxidant green tea. In your bag, you also have a teaspoon. I will show you to brew. When you put the teaspoon in, you're probably going to say, whenever we do tea events, most Americans who are used to supersize, they're always like, that's too little. I need more leaves. It's gotta be more, a lot. But understand that that leaf, one leaf is gonna open up and it's gonna pour, put a lot of really good, high quality green tea in your cup. So my husband, when he first started teaing, he would take count like seven, eight leaves because depending upon how many tea leaves you use, you're gonna get a different flavor. And also uh, there's information, instructions on brewing, trust your palate. I like a really light, fine taste. Some people who are used to, you know, lifted strong, strong tea, want something strong, but if it's too strong, then you miss the taste. You miss the joy. You wanna taste that soil. You wanna taste the farm. We're, our farm is 100 feet above sea level. The sun has touched it. You don't need anything but a light, dainty touch. I sent my cousin Lash here all the instructions. I was like, Joe, I sent him pictures because I'm so passionate at making sure that you brew this tea perfectly because I want you to drink it for life. And I sent pictures and I directions and he texted me back and said, he did exactly what I said and the tea was amazing. And it was so satisfying to me because if you do it well, you never want to drink anything else. So this will go into your cup and this is pretty small, so it's not an actual size cup, but what you can do is just dump your leaves in a cup, pour hot water, cover it, and 
sometimes I take these cups and I just put it on top of each other. Two, three minutes, you're gonna see the leaves dancing in your cup. This is what the tea leaf will look like. That tiny leaf that is all curled up is going to open up into a leaf. That's tea. And if that's, this is, that's only one of these here, right? This is a tea leaf. This is what you get. And if you're not drinking that, then you go to the grocery store, the chopped up tea. This is tea. I'm just gonna send this around because look how many, this was only a little teaspoon. And look how many tea, how much tea you get. Iced tea, as Americans we love iced tea, cold. And most people in Europe and Asia are mortified by the fact that we need cold. One, in the farm, they are very concerned because anything cold is too much for your heart. So my kids love cold and they're like, oh, Americans cold, it is bad for your heart. It overstimulates your heart. Sometimes if you have ice, ice water too cold, your heart ha starts palpitating, right? And they're like, oh, it is good. Your water should be room temperature so it doesn't put too much shock on your body. Um, when you brew tea, to have really refreshing green tea, in my household, it's only water and then I just make iced tea. A carafe like this, you can take um, a loose leaf strainer, we have these supplies, and I make tea, but I'll put in, instead of a teaspoon, uh, the teaspoon, I'll take a tablespoon and make the tea a much stronger and brew my tea really, really hot and then just put this in the refrigerator. I don't put any ice in it, just put it in the refrigerator. And when the kids wake up, our, our cold drink is iced tea. If you're going to brew your tea, brew with fresh water. Now, again, tap water just takes every, you've just had organic tea to avoid chemical pesticides, copper, and all the things that go through the pipes. So um, pick up some spring water, and it's also going to be great because when you're making iced tea, you're gonna have fresh iced tea, and um, our entire farm is certified organic. All the herbs that you taste right now, everything is certified organic because one, it's very expensive to use chemicals, and um, it allows us to maintain the integrity of, of all the herbs when it's organic. So um, invest in the fact that you're going to brew the tea with water. Um, how you brew, again, two to three minutes, trust your palate. If you drink it and you go, you know, this is not, it tastes too strong or it's too light, then you're welcome to add, you know, more leaves to it. But the water quality, the temperature, um, let your tea sit, and then you know you wanna drink the tea, enjoy. No matter what tea you drink, green, red, white, rubus, all tea comes from one plant, Camellia sinensis. It's just one green plant. What makes the tea different, it's how we process it, right? So it's all going to be that green tea leaf. When we pluck it, it's green. Then we take it to the factory to roll it, to steam it, and what happens is it's green like this. But the way the tea becomes black is because it's sort of oxidized. So if you take a banana and you let that banana get oxidized, it can also turn black, right? And that's what happens for the black tea. And what makes green tea just so much more higher in antioxidant is that it's, it's not fermented. So we don't ferment it. We're as close as the leaf as you can get taking it from the, plucking it in the field, taking the two youngest uh, buds, taking it to the factory, withering it, and on the video we would show in the factory how the tea is made, rolling it, some people in Japan steam it, we pan fry it, and we let the leaves wither, but we don't break it. With, like many tea bags, it's broken into pieces. That's why you can't really see it, and there's something called tea dust. You know when you have the tea and there's dust at the bottom? That is because of the way it's been grated. You won't see the dust here because it's pretty much the whole leaf, right? So green black tea is healthy as well. It's just that it's not fermented, so we're gonna get more higher antioxidant. Um, but we love the taste of black tea. It's bold. This is gonna be the base. And you can take the black tea and you can decide, I want the cold chaser, um, the, we call it Shrina Boost, which is uh, a eucalyptus, lemongrass, good for cold and sinuses. You can put it with black tea or green tea.
This is um, passion fruit, just looks like a papaya. It's just a nice, naturally sweet tea. You can have some uh, chamomile for digestive system. And you can browse, you take your spoon, and if you don't want any tea, just herbs, you can, you're welcome to use the herbs. This is um, hibiscus. Hibiscus is wonderful. It's high in vitamin C. It's a great fruit. Um, as I mentioned to you, Ambu banana, which is good for high blood pressure, um, because it, yeah, it's a wonderful, naturally sweet. Uh, we squeeze the banana in the cup in the green tea in the farm, but this is a, a tea where pieces of banana, so there's no banana flavoring, it's the actual dried piece. And if you wanted that, you can just have that in your tea bags. Since our inception, um, I started the company nearly two decades ago, and one of the missions was to go beyond the cup. We go beyond the cup to teach the American palate and re-educate the palate on the pure pleasures of tea. We find that yes, tea is everywhere. You can get a cup of tea at the corner store, you can get a cup of tea in the restaurant, you can pretty much go anywhere for a cup of tea. But where can you go to know tea? Where can you go to understand what an antioxidant? Where can you go to learn about the, the importance of water quality? Where can you go to learn how to brew? I never knew much about tea. I'm not a tea drinker, but Monarchy was a former student of mine, so I came out to support her. And I want to tell you, I am falling in love with this tea. I am a tea drinker. I've been drinking tea all my life, but I have had just the basic black bitter tea. I've gotten used to it. This is a whole different thing, whole different taste, whole different. It, it's more like some kind of a little pleasure drink. I had joined the. Um experiments of different foods and different teas mm -hmm. and I enjoy myself being here first experiment here at the restaurant the black tea and the green tea those are my favorite and chamomile um, naturally but drinking it naturally from you know just straight from the tea and the leaves and all that it, it was a real different experience and you can taste the tea I've had some health challenges so she's helping me tea and get it get myself together physically and stuff um, and so far so good the education was um, for like the different uh, bodily health that it does for you like the verbena and the lemongrass and all the different teas. It was nice. Many of our guests love the Shrina Boost. This is our go-to all about eucalyptus and clearing out the nasal with green teas, lemongrass, a little bit of fennel, uh, some star anise. And many of us actually, some of the guests actually said that uh, their sinuses were opened up, which is a good thing during the winter. So I didn't think like the tea, the tea that I was drinking was so damaging and to have a new tea that I can drink and, and it, it can heal your body it can you know make a whole lot of health changes for you so it was very educational and enlightening for me today. Awesome. I would say I like the uh, the one one the one with the sinuses that opens up the sinuses because I have sinus problems and that was that was a good tea and it and it, and it really did work. It opened up my sinuses. I'm breathing now. <laughs> Shrina is focused on a grassroots to growth strategy. And what that means for us is that we bypass the conventional ways of building a company and being successful, building a product and a service. Our goal is to teach people not only tea, but purpose, healthy lifestyles. We have a grassroots to growth strategy, which was implemented today, where we get to take a brand that we love and teach and share, build, grow, make a profit and make purpose. And that's our goal and we're looking forward to more successful events like today. Thank you for watching SGTV, socially good television. Visit sociallygoodtv.com and remember to share this video.